Welcome back to the Crazy Josh Cravies. I make vlogs and sketches and whatnot. And today I will be reviewing the first story of Doctor Who Season 35. The Magician's Apprentice, The Witch's Familiar, and The Doctor's Meditation. The first time I said that out loud, I actually said The Doctor's Medication. Now I was going to review The Magician's Apprentice like right after it came out, but I decided to wait until The Witch's Familiar came out so I can review the story as one. Because The Magician's Apprentice as an episode on its own, isn't the best. There is an amazing entrance for the Doctor with that, those sunglasses and that the guitar and everything, but just the episode itself was enjoyable but not the best. There were also a few questionable parts on Stephen Moffat's and like having Missy's head just randomly be huge. Like, we wasted five seconds having that happen and then explaining it and then it had nothing to do with anything else for the rest of the episode. Not even in that scene. Okay, Moffat. And in The Witch is Familiar, Clara and Missy go into the Dalek sewers slash graveyard, and uh, there's like all these decaying Daleks on the wall, which Stephen Moffat introduced into that episode solely to have it be a deus ex machina at the end of the episode which I have a bit of a problem with. But hey, the prequel episode, the five minute long The Doctor's Meditation was perfect. It was fine on its own. It was funny, short, and reintroduced us to the Doctor. And while I enjoyed the, the comedy in the short, I couldn't help but notice the three musical tracks that they use are ones from season five. And pretty much within the first second of them playing, I could recognize them, uh, which were uh, the Pandorica and Amy's theme. And the friend that the doctor had in the doctor's meditation ended up being a human Dalek hybrid thing, like from Asylum of the Daleks. He ended up being that at the end of The Magician's Apprentice, which was kind of really, really odd and contradictive to the story. I mean, first of all, it ruined a seemingly nice, normal character who seemed genuinely friendly with the doctor, although dumb at times. And if he was there, then the Daleks should have already known where the Doctor was, but yet they're still looking for him at the end of the episode. But otherwise, the Doctor's meditation was enjoyable. Actually, there's nothing wrong with the prequel on its own, but it's at the end of The Magician's Apprentice that kind of ruins some of that. But moving on to The Magician's Apprentice solely, uh, the beginning was absolutely amazing with the Doctor trying to save this, this little kid and all these creepy hands with eyes on them and then that reveal of it being Davros and that zooming shot of the Doctor. That was a legitimately amazing twist and a very insanely good opening. Although I am kind of disappointed that the hands with eyes on them reach up and like grab people's feet and everything and they're really they're just in the episode for no real reason other than to be creepy. They looked great in the trailer for season 35, but they didn't serve any purpose at all other than pulling a guy into the ground and creating a situation in which Davros needed saving. I feel like this could have been succeeded very easily some other way. Maybe the ground is really weak and a guy just falls through and so Davros doesn't want to move or else he could fall. And then the doctor has a conflict about, well, should I let him fall in or should I save him? I know he's Davros and everything, so uh, I don't know. The hands just seemed a bit wasted. And then we have Missy, who was in very enjoyable in The Witch is Familiar, but in The Magician's Apprentice, she seemed a little wasted. And the planes frozen in the sky thing didn't really make a whole lot of sense and had nothing absolutely nothing to do with the episode at all. It's just like with the eyes on the hands and the reveal of the Dalek human hybrid at the end of The Magician's Apprentice, Stephen Moffat seems to be introducing these things solely to create a moment and then as soon as you leave the moment they're gone. Because of course they were only created for that one moment. Or five moments in the case of Davros being trapped. Seriously, I think there was like five times we revisited that scene. So Missy calls Clara's attention and they go there and uh, then she captures Clara and they leave and then they end up right by the doctor. They find the doctor and then they leave again. Now the reveal of Scaro was actually very well done. At no point did I think that they would they were on some sort of planet or anything. I thought that it was legitimately just like a little space station and I thought, oh that's kind of weird how they can 
walk around in the space sort of thing, and I was really confused. It's very well done, Moffat. Good job. So the, all the Dalek-related twists are very good, but it's pretty much every other twist that isn't the best. Like, at the end of The Magician's Apprentice, as soon as Clara and Missy were shot by the Daleks and disappeared, I knew there was no way, I knew for a fact that they were perfectly fine. One reason being is that uh, when you get shot by a Dalek, you don't just disappear, you get shot then die. Second of all, uh, we saw Clara in the trailer for season 35 later on. <sighs> Seems like Moffat's still trying to create fake tension within the stories. But as obvious as it was that they survived, the reveal at the beginning of The Witch is Familiar that they did survive was pretty well done. And I like the opening shot of just randomly, you know, spinning around and then the reveal of Clara being tied up. And Missy was creepy all throughout the story, it's just she didn't have as much presence as I thought she would. She really seems like she could have been some other character or that she, with a bit of tweaking to the story, could have been removed completely. It sounds like I'm bashing this story a lot, but I really did enjoy it. The highlight of the, the entire story and the Doctor's meditation, the highlight for that for me was the Doctor talking with Davros. It stretched over about two or three scenes and Pretty much that section of the story was completely flawless and perfect. The Doctor's talking to Davros, realizing, you know, maybe they aren't so different. Realizing there's a lot of similarities between them. And uh, Davros maybe, maybe being an enemy politically to the Doctor isn't necessarily an enemy to him personally or emotionally. And when Davros finally revealed his true intentions, I legitimately felt betrayed by Davros. How could he betray us? We just spent all these scenes and all this time devoting to him breaking down and realizing he isn't as bad as he always thought he was or how evil we always thought he was. But then I was like, well no, wait, it's Davros. Of course he would do something like this. How could I fall for it? Just like the doctor did. And I felt so trapped and it was very well done. I legitimately thought that Davros meant what he said. And I still think he did mean some of what he said. He may have been manipulating the doctor to give him the regeneration energy, but it legitimately seemed like he was genuine in some of what he said. Like sure, he was manipulating the doctor, but that doesn't mean everything he said wasn't true. And when he opened his eyes, that was, that was amazing. Like I, first of all, when he first said, let me see you with my own eyes, I couldn't stop thinking Star Wars, Darth Vader, let me see you with my own eyes. But it was other than that one line possibly being a reference to Star Wars, it was, very well done. I didn't even know Davros had eyes. I thought those dark spots were where his eyes were and had been burnt off when he was damn or when he was uh, when he was injured when he was younger. At one point, I was actually hoping the climax of the episode would be the Doctor racing down to try to get into the TARDIS to be able to go get Davros and bring him to the future so he could see the sunset one last time. I was really hoping that was where it was going to end and I thought it was going to be something similar to that. Maybe like him rushing and pushing him outside so he could see the the sunset or the sunrise earlier. But nope, he betrayed us. Some highlights of the episode include the Dr. Davros scene obviously. Uh, the doctor riding around in Davros's Dalek suit which was Hilarious. The Doctor randomly having tea, that was funny. Clara being put in the Dalek suit was... That whole scene and seg segment was just terrifying and brilliant at the same time. And at the end, after Clara had opened up the Dalek suit and the Doctor was trying to get the wires out of her head, it seemed like that scene was going towards the Doctor coming to the realization that she can't get out of the suit. It was, I don't know if it was tonal or the the doctor's mannerisms, but that actually seemed like where the scene was going towards. So I thought that this was gonna end up being, you know, Osgood from Asylum of the Daleks, and then Clara for the rest of the season was gonna be some other Clara that we got from the name of the doctor. But I'm really, really glad they didn't go towards that, because I, I totally thought they were. And I'm also interested in what exactly happened to Missy at the end of the episode. She sort of ran into one of the Daleks and then the episode ended. But then the episode did end and the TARDIS dispersing throughout the room didn't make 
any lick of sense at all, and it really seemed like a deus ex machina that wasn't even introduced early on. And I don't know how I feel about the sonic screwdriver being replaced by his sunglasses. That just, it seemed a bit weird, and the reference to wearable technology that he made seemed a bit out of place. But all in all, I enjoyed this story. Like when Davros referenced back to Tom Baker talking to Davros, and he actually played the clip and uh, audio from that. Uh, it was very chilling. And while the first episode may have stumbled a bit, the second episode totally made up for it and made it a very, very enjoyable story and one of the best uh, season opener stories. I say one of the best because I'm still very partial to the 11th hour, but other than the 11th hour, this is probably the best season opener that there's been in the revival seasons. I can't think of something relevant or numbered in the episode to use for the rating, so I'll just say in the end, I give it an 8 out of 10. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Hopefully you stuck around. I personally wouldn't have. I would have been off watching the episode again. Or the invasion of time. Seriously, I've started watching that story like five times and for whatever reason I can never get past like the first 15 minutes. I have no idea why. Let me know what you thought of the story and the doctor's meditation in the comments below or even make a video response if you want. And you can return here next week to see my review of the next episode. But yeah, like I said, that's about it. So until next time, I bid you all goodbye. Run through time and space We're all over the place At least that's what Amy said mm -mm. That's what Rory said mm -mm.